Hey guys, so we've left Geddy's place in Montague Springs. We had an amazing time over there. It was uh, really epic to watch him do snake rescue as well as use the snakes that he had rescued already, which was Cape Cobras, worm slungs and puff adders. We ended up finding one of our own Cape Cobras on the road as well as a puff adder just at night. So that was a really, really cool experience. We got to work with some amazing animals and checked off a few target species for the trip. So now we've made a seven hour journey north to the Northern Cape in South Africa, in Springbok area, Port Nolith. And our target species for this location is the dwarf bitters, black spitting cobra and coral snake. This area is highly, highly regulated and protected. The species and of, of plants and reptiles are often poached for the pet trade. So we've decided to opt for a uh, tool this herping where we're not going to be using tongs or hooks. Hey guys, so this morning's herping session wasn't so successful. It got quite hot quite quickly and we realized that the terrain is quite uh, tough to be able to find black spitters and things that move quite fast. So we moved over to Port Nollis so we're not wasting time during the day and just sleeping out. So we come to Port Nollis to come look for Vita Schneider and we're going to cruise through a couple of these dunes. We've got a couple of locations to hit and hopefully we get lucky. This is really looking for a needle in a haystack. It's uh, the smallest species of viper in the world. Yeah, it's going to be a real tough one. We've got a couple isolated little pockets of shrubbery. There's also quite a bit of trash, which is unfortunate, but it's a good place to look for snakes. So let's look around and see if we get lucky. Yeah, it'll be really cool to find the smallest species of viper in the world. These snakes are proving really difficult to find. Uh, it's a really tough environment, it's a hell of a windy, so all the tracks and signs have disappeared. And you get these little patches of vegetation that you search around. And if you're not like sweeping nicely with a stick under the sand, like this, you know, if you start sweeping here and then do a like sweep here, then there could be a Schneider sitting right there. So, unless you're doing full sweeps, actually really really tough to find these guys <laughs> yes. Good guys. we actually tracked, tracked the schneider eye I you can see here the track goes here a little bit side winding movement through here it goes inside the bush then we check the other side of the bush here we saw something like it looked like the snake was going deep deep down so we started to dig in and here she is Time to release this absolutely stunning little snake. Here we have Bitsa Schneideri, the Namaqua dune adder, Namaqua dwarf adder, a little gravid female. Mathieu is digging a hole for her. It's nicely warm down there so she can survive the night here. Very good place for her. There she is and that's literally just how we found her. Yep. I'm just going to put a little bit of soil, not too much. There's a little head there. Little head, tongue flick now. So I think she can decide if she wants to go deeper or she wants to stay on the surface. So there you have it. It's Bitter Schneider I released, found in the wild, left in the wild. 
And now we have one more target species and that's Cordalis. So, and a Cornuto, a big one would be nice, but Cordalis would also be great. So hopefully tonight we'll get lucky. There's a couple chameleon species around here and uh, some Namaqua rain frogs. We'll have a look-see for those. That's the prey items of these guys. And then uh, do a little road cruise and see if we can find Cordalis. Let's get lucky. So we've been doing some road cruising and uh, after that amazing fight of the Schneider oh my god, what a flippant amazing find. But now we've just found a big bronze that's running off over there. You can see him there. The big bronze gecko. There's a snake, there's a snake, there's a snake. Oh, brown house. Uh -huh. We were filming the, the geckos oh, yeah. and found a brown house snake. Yeah. <laughs> and it's the, bu it's the bug eyed one as well. Yeah. Dope yeah. is that. So we stopped for a big bronze gecko, released two giant ground geckos, and then found a brown house snake. Let the road cruise continue. That's not so nice. We've had two D on the road, dead on the road. A tiger snake and now a house snake. So let's hopefully we get a live snake. Sure. Another dead on the road. So tonight's road cruise was really interesting. There were a lot of dead on the roads, a lot of brown house snakes, a lot of tiger snakes. That's the Beats tiger snake. But we did get two live ones, which was amazing. Then the holy grail of South African species of snake. It was a Fisk's house snake. Unfortunately, it was dead. There was previously, up until maybe a couple of years ago, only five, 10 records of the species of snake. So very rare snake, but very, very sad, really bittersweet to be able to see this snake in real is really amazing but to see it dead is really really depressing and sad uh, it's a big issue out here we've noticed that there's been lots of dead snakes on the road from people driving too fast yeah unfortunately the ratio has not really been on our side thus far it's been more dead snakes than alive snakes which is really sad Hey guys, so we're back at it again. We're out here looking for Cornuta in these rocky outcrops. We found a great road, a little bit less traveled road, so hopefully there'll be a little bit more activity. So the snake food's around. Habitat's good. We just need the snake. So, many horned adder. It's just Cornuta. Beautiful little snake. Be a lifer for me, at least in the wild. So, very excited to see if we can find this little guy. So, guys, we've just found Cornuta. It's a little tiny baby, as you can see. And it was cruising right there. So it was moving during the like, warmer part of the day, but in the shade. But this is a great find, one of our target species off the list. It would be nicer to find a big one. But this guy's adorable. Little golden eyes. You know, stunning little snake. So a very exciting moment. We're going to hope a little bit longer and then hit some road cruising.
yesterday it was a really cool day. We ended up working with the many horned adder that we found, as well as Schneider eye. Really, really, really cool species of snakes. Now it's time to find maybe a bigger cornuta, bigger many horned adder, as well as cordalis, which is the horned adder. And we really hope this location will uh, produce some results. I've just been walking around not even five, 10 minutes and we've already found some uh, either cornuta or cordalis. I would say this is more cornuta habitat. So we've already got some shedding, which is a brilliant, brilliant sign. I've seen a couple of skinks running around. It's a bit windy and slightly cooler today. So we'll see if we can get some results and then we'll end this just before sunset and start some road cruising back to Port Nolis side. So let's hope we get lucky. Last one target species, but we'd like to get a bigger cornuta. So let's see if we can get those two today. Stay tuned. So we've searched quite extensively around this poppy here behind us. We've gone all the way from the UK down the road and it started getting really windy. Clouds came over, chilly. So I've put on my little jacket and due to the cooler temperatures, we're gonna cut this a bit short and jump straight into a road cruise. Egg eater, okay. Ro rhombic. <laughs> rhombic. So look, it doesn't have teeth, so yeah. they don't actually bite. It's yeah. all big. Oh. It's all show. Yeah. That's cool. So cool. Also, so we got our first snake for the road cruising. We are looking for cordalis or a big cornuta, but this is the first uh, eggy for the trip so far this side of town. Uh, we've been mostly finding house snakes and uh, tiger snakes, so this is a really cool find. Amazing, so second snake in the space of maybe 15 minutes, so the snakes are out. Now we just need to get lucky with the right species. So, been road cruising now, we had those two brown house snakes. And now another lifer for me, but again, a dead one. We've got a shovel nose here. I'm not sure the exact species, I'll have a check see in the book. But it was still twitching and whatnot, so it must have been literally a car just prior to us, which is really, really sad. Um, such a cool little snake. First time I'm seeing it, and it's dead. Yeah, that's really sad. Hopefully we'll get some live stuff. Hi guys, so it's the next day after a road cruise last night. We came to this location because of the many horned adder that we found here. And we wanted to release in the exact same location we found her. These snakes like to be released where they were originally found. So I'm making sure, because this is quite a little one, that it knows exactly where it is. Found it just over there, climbing up that shrubbery. You can see all the cracks and crevices. So time to let this little girl go. So now that we've released her, amazing feeling, always a good feeling releasing a snake back into its natural environment. We're gonna head over to Port Nolith for the evening, go do some herping of the Namaco rain frogs and the Namaco dwarf chameleon, and then hopefully get some road cruising, we'll get Cordalis and then we're heading over to our next location. But let's check out Port Nolith next. Hopefully we'll get lucky. So it's that time. Got to the location roughly where we caught these snakes on the road cruise. Hope we probably saved their lives from a car giving them a bash. And uh, yeah, back into the wild they go. Birdie. There we have it. The Namaqua dwarf chameleon. Here we have the little Namaqua dwarf chameleon. Just found them on some sparse bushes here. We must be cruising from branch to branch because not a very thickly, not a very thickly dense bush. Time to 
released this beautiful little car. And like I said, they are found in the wild, left in the wild. So I did find them on these little bushes here, but it's a little bit sparse. So guys, I've released the chameleon back into the wild where I found it. And uh, that's it for Port Nullis. We've got our target species in the bag. We're gonna head back to Springbok for two days, see if we can get Cordalis cornuta and uh, Speeder Labs, the uh, Cape Shield Coral Cobra. So very exciting. Hopefully we can tick off our last two species. Um, wish us luck and yeah, we'll see you out there. Hey guys, so it's our final day here at Springbok Port Nullis side. Last night we ended up doing some road cruising and due to this area being quite intense for poaching, we ended up getting pulled over by a um, police officer who ended up turning out to be a really nice guy. We ended up chatting a little bit and he ended up giving me a location to come and photograph and film Cornuta and Cordalis, which is just north of Steinkopf. And we've just arrived here at this very open sandy flats uh, surrounded with a couple of copies. And I'm literally standing on a quartz belt here. You can see all this quartz here. It's absolutely incredible. White, white crystal quartz and um, hopefully we can get lucky find Cordalis which is the horned adder it's been quite a long search for that species uh, we've only got a small cornuta so we'd hope to get an adult as well and then maybe a coral so three species one night challenge accepted let's see if we can do it uh, for now we're just going to walk around see what we can get and maybe pop at a few different locations around here and uh, yeah we'll see what we what we find After many days of looking for this little snake, the, the tip off worked. We came here to this mine out here just north of Steinkopf and you know sometimes you doubt it, you're like yeah yeah okay <laughs> and boom there it is. Mathieu started dancing in the desert and when that happens you know something good happened. <laughs> so super exciting moment. Are we gonna go grab the camera gear and then we'll get to show you guys this amazing species. Wow 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 what an incredible moment. So we've done working with the little beautiful horned adder. We've nicknamed it Carl, but because it didn't behave so well, we called him Boris. Boring Boris. <laughs> Boring Boris. <Yes. laughs> we didn't get much behavior out of him, but it's getting a bit hot now. So these species of snake usually during the hot heat of the day be down a little rodent hole or hiding in the shade. So we don't want to overheat him. So we're going to bring him back to the exact same location my you found it. Morning guys, so we made a long cruise over from Springbok yesterday to Kalahari Trails, the Kalahari area and we've just arrived at Twitter Feeden uh, border gate, we've got about 45 minutes to wait we got some misleading information from, uh, from the guy yesterday as we arrived, he said it opened at 5.30 but that's for people staying inside the park or leaving the park we've just got day passes, so we'll wait an hour but it's perfect we're just quickly shooting a morning sunrise on the Botswana side, or we're on the South African side, but that's Botswana over there. And uh, hopefully we'll get some cool sightings today, some cheetahs on the list, some yellow cape cobra hopefully, um, and then maybe pangolin, honey badger, whatever we might see. I'm very, very, very excited to check uh, this side of uh, South Africa. I've been in Botswana side, but never the South African side, so yeah, very, very exciting. Hopefully we get some cool sightings today. Stay tuned. 